one day. It's true. Something in me wants to know how it feels to have a life inside me beside my own. And no, I'm not on birth control. We're selfishly poking holes, thinking we'll elope. And yes, I have dreams, goals, fantasies, and feelings. So please don't get it twisted. I'm not revealing anything I've seen or out of the ordinary real woman's needs. Nor am I insinuating that I'm the ordinary. I'm only being real that I want to create more than poetry, make more than money, make more than babies. I want to have a family. And no, I'm not yet ready, but I'm inspired to be somebody's mommy, somebody's queen. Somebody is going to see the God in me, even if you don't. I want to know the feeling of my water broke, the baby's coming, not just baby, I'm coming. And for the record, I don't believe in sacrifice and umbilical cords for the ability to abort a life two grown folks are responsible for. I said for the record, I don't believe in sacrifice and umbilical cords for the ability to abort a life two grown folks are responsible for. Mm -hmm. If this means you don't want me anymore, fine. But imagine if someone never wanted you. You never have been here, would you? In fact, one of the first few questions you ever asked me was if I want a kid, so I know this part in me, somewhere in you exists. There is nothing wrong with this. It's only society that makes it complicated to admit, like it's abnormal to have thoughts to being pregnant by a man you go to bed with every night and have all your time invested in, all your hopes and hope that this might be something more than just another lesson in life. I don't need another reason to be mad at men, need to be shown the light cause this tunnel's been too long. If you don't want to fight that fight, baby be gone cause any man I deal with must be spiritually strong. See being a husband and a father takes more than iron arms and if you would never want a baby with me, you, ha you have no business having sex without a condom on or having sex with me at all because in reality, the chance is always in the draw. Don't bid on luck not to come, it will come just a matter of when. See, I am not concerned with the white picket fence. I care about providing stability, not hiding in cement. The mud on this relationship is my present focus, or that materialistic investment can be postponed, but we can't. Either you are, or you aren't, my man. Between. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me, what would you do if your tax resort had come with a plus sign instead of the minus? With this time minus you from my life, cause you weren't designed to resign from lust, resign your life to love, dedicate your time to us, have no more time for you. If I wanted to be just a fuck, I'd be a prostitute. Well, <laughs> God in you, but if this topic bothers you even at your age, frankly, darling, we're not on the same page. In the same book, will you ever give up the game? See, there is more to life than the delusional trophies and points gained by women to your boys. And being unfaithful is a character flaw, not the other person's fault, just yours. And no, I would let any man's chauvinistic thoughts of what he insists to find the king just because it fits his card ring around a real king will put the real woman who has held him down through everything with no doubt that he would build a castle for her with his bare hands. And castles just don't stand a chance. Who's sure to come and go fast as your plans, but my plan still stands to have one day before your sperm and my eggs require in vitro fertilization and fertility treatment just to be incubated. And merely for perfecting pleasure, let's consider this a mission long complete and just admit we never did belong together. Wishing you peace and blessings in all your endeavors.